Good morning, folks. Today we're looking at the tropical development near Mexico, another hit to cosmological paradigms, an eye-catching model with suspicious inputs, a major warning from scientists about the volcanic disaster on the horizon, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Things remain very quiet. Solar flaring remains in lower M and C-class range, no eruptions towards the Earth. And the same goes for all these plasma filaments. The coronal hole departing on the north and its solar wind has finally arrived at Earth, but while it is slightly more intense than the ambient solar wind, it is not enough to cause much movement geomagnetically. We're fairly quiet here at Earth as well for the moment. We are still watching the sunspots, but the mild decay phase has continued. It's the only significant sunspot group on the Earth-facing half of the sun, but it's losing its magnetic mixing. Still got a few spots of potential, but they're shrinking by the hour as the active region moves towards the limb. Lots of you are probably hearing about the tropical depression that just formed in the Caribbean. It is slated to intensify only slightly before making landfall, but we'll have to watch for it crossing into the Gulf and re-strengthening as it then moves towards the States. We'll have eyes on this one for sure. Following up yesterday's article on James Webb probing the early galaxy problem in cosmology, I figured we'd grab this one from last month as well. We were kind of busy at the time with the solar storm when it came out, but today you've got the link to this one on how the reionization models are breaking down as well. Cosmology is in need of a major makeover. Up next, it's such a shame. Incredible eye candy applied as icing on a black hole cake. For those who haven't seen the videos about black hole science breaking, they're on the Sky Scholar channel. But right now, I can just definitively say that these are some gorgeous visuals based on what is almost certainly poor scientific understanding. Pretty though. Lastly, on the article front, nature and top scientists are warning that a major volcanic eruption is inevitable and it will throw our world into absolute chaos. From major cold snaps to crop losses and unusual flood and drought patterns, it'll be like a school bus getting t-boned by a train. They even drill down into significant past events, but what most interests me on this chart is over on the far right side. The so-called global warming began in the late 1800s and just look at the lack of volcanic cooling at the time. It goes right along with the record high solar activity and the weakening magnetic field of Earth, the three real causes of the atmospheric changes freaking out the left these days. Folks, our first two conference dates for 2025 are set at Observer Ranch. My next day out there will be Saturday, but we've got major events coming every single month. Check them out. Come see us. ObserverRanch.com we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.